Hi guys, my name is Pratik Zoshi and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be discussing about the GMAT focus cont section. What are the different types of questions? How much total time is available? What is the time per question that you get? And what is the basic expectation from this particular section? All of this we are going to be covering in this video. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So this video is particularly about the GMAT focus con section, but if you need any help in the verbal section, then I have already made a video with respect to that. The link of that video is in the description and in the I button of this video. So obviously you can wait for this video to end or you can directly click on this, the, the link and you will be redirected to the GMAT focus verbal video. And if you have any questions at any point, don't forget to mention them in the comment section. So let's get started. So first, I always address the need for a section like this. Why is there a need for the con section? So the answer is pretty simple without numbers, without, uh, you know, any kind of calculations and stuff. Any decision that is taken in the management sector is not valid. You basically need numbers to make an informed decision. Whenever, let's say you are hired as an analyst, you are hired as a finance expert or whatever field that is, especially in management, no decisions are taken based on your gut feeling, but it is basically on data. And the way you play around with data is by excelling in a subject like quant. So that is why there is a need for this particular section in the GMAT exam. So now coming to the different types of questions that are there in the quant section. So in the quant section, you have different types of questions that you get. Basically, there are two major types. The first one is the algebraic type and the second one is the arithmetic type. Pretty sure you already know what they mean, but still uh, for all those of you who maybe need some help there, the algebraic sort of questions are around equations, word problems, inequalities, absolute values, functions, sequences, basic statistics, all of those. Coming to the arithmetic, it's, it's about basically numbers, fractions, uh, arithmetic equations, uh, counting methods, statistics power, root numbers, uh, ratios, fractions, all of that basically. I think I repeated fractions, but yeah, so it's basically about that. You will have to excel in all these kinds of questions to make sure that you excel in the GMAT focus edition. Now coming to the other data with respect to the quant section, with respect to time, questions, all of that. So in the quant section, you have a total number of 21 questions and the time available for them is 45 minutes. So if you come to a calculation of time needed per question, you basically take 45 minutes and divide them into 21 questions, you get somewhere little over two minutes. So on an average, I would say consider a, a, a time segment of two minutes per question. Try to make sure you are answering the correct answer for each question within two minutes. If you are able to do that, great. If not, whenever you answer below two minutes for each question, you will have some time over left and that you can use for the difficult questions. Here are some examples of the questions that appear in the corn section. So continuously going through different types of questions. You can stop this video at any point to know which, what kind of questions that you need to aim and what questions in the corn section look like. Now for an important note in the corn section, that is you cannot use a calculator, whether it is your online exam or your test center exam, no calculators are allowed. So you need to be really good when it comes to calculations, all of those approximations, all of that. So make sure you do practice a lot. Make sure you time yourself a lot and make sure you are going inside the preparation, considering the fact that you will be answering 21 questions for a time of 45 minutes. When you practice according to that, trust me, you will get amazing results. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys were able to take some insights about the GMAT focus con section. If you need some help with respect to the GMAT verbal section, the link of that video is in the description as well as in the I button. And if you have any questions related to GMAT overall or the con section, don't forget to mention them in the comment section below. I'll try my best to answer them for you. So that is it for this video. I'll be seeing you for the next video. So until then, be happy, stay safe and all the best for your prep.